it's just crawling on me. So here we have a mantid that has decided to join me for the after well, the morning. And I think we picked this guy up when we were following Tingana because I remember seeing one on our dashboard, but this one's decided now that it would rather walk around on my sleeve. And so it's it unfortunately is moving, so I'll try. Just hold on, let's just see if he'll go on my hand. There we go, Ferg. How's that? Is that better? So I was a little bit close to the lens for it to focus, but there you can see our mantid. Look how cool it is. You can see the antenna just flickering in the breeze, those massive eyes that they use to hunt, and then those long forelegs that are almost scissor-like that they grab their prey with and then hold them and then use those mouth parts to feed off. Remember, mantids are massive predators, so they eat lots of different things. And in fact, I was reading a, an article last night of a mantis that killed a hummingbird and was eating the hummingbird and it decapitated the honeybird. Can you imagine that? That's pretty insane. So it must have been a rather large mantis, but still, it just shows you how effective they are when it comes to actually hunting and to trying to get the food that they need. So a very cool article to have read and to have seen and they even have pictures of it as well because i wouldn't have believed it otherwise now the reason why they call praying mantis is because those two front legs that you see that come down that have that sort of archway they put those together very often when they sit on a branch they sort of tilt back slightly and those two are forward and it almost looks like someone that is praying and sort of someone that's gone to a church service and has its hands together and its head bowed down slightly and so that's where the name came from but these guys are so cool they're one of my favorite insects i love watching them they come in all shapes and sizes and different colors this one is almost translucent you can kind of see its abdominal tract as it goes down i want to just try and see if i can't turn it a little bit without it moving no nope, it's decided it wants to stay with me sorry ferg look it's trying to look at us so you see how it just goes from side to side as i move and what i wanted to try and show you is on its back how well camouflaged it is it's got this sort of grey coloured back that bl would blend in perfectly on a tree or grass. So Sally, all the way from Oregon, you say they're the neatest creatures. Well, I agree, Sally. I really like mantids and I could watch them for hours, particularly when they're active, when you see them moving around at night and they're looking and hunting. It's amazing to watch them and see how efficient they are when it comes to being able to catch certain food items. But this guy's decided he's going to chill with us. I can try. Ferg, you just tell me. No, wait, hold on. Ferg wants to play with his camera and try and get his macro function working. How close, Ferg? Until Very close. Okay, you got to tell me, Ferg. How close? Stop. Well, there's going to be a test of my arm strength. So Byron earlier was talking about going to gym this is going to be one of those situations where i would have hold my arm up at an awkward angle but there we go so your macro function works quite well Ferg. it is very very cool now we're just trying to see sometimes we've got to play around with our camera a little bit just to try and test its limits and test its capabilities but there you can see look at the camouflage on the back imagine that was on a piece of grass how difficult that would be to see my jersey is a, an olive green and so it's not designed to blend in with this but it is sort of sitting and you can actually see it sitting like a mantis would or, or in its praying sort of s stance I'm trying to just turn it oh no it's moved but it had its legs together how cool is that it's great guns i know what can i say fergus it's all the yoga it's all the yoga and all the teachings that Byron's given us about keeping our biceps in good condition. So, Dave, you're wondering how big they grow and what is their lifespan. Well, it depends on the, the type of mantid. There are lots of different types of mantids out there. There's not just one single individual praying mantis. You get flower mantids and you get all kinds of other ones out there. Some of them can get very big, almost the length of my hand. So I would say in inches, that would be, what do we reckon, Ferg? Close to five inches, maybe a little less, four inches. Mm -hmm. That would be about the size of some of these mantids that we get. So they really get quite large. 
In terms of lifespans, I'm not 100% sure. I would imagine it varies depending on the individuals and, and species and depending on sizes and all kinds of things like that. Some insects are very short-lived and others a little bit longer, but I would be lying if I gave you an exact lifespan of a praying mantis. Maybe some of you out there can help us on hashtag safari live and let us know what you think. Oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> 